Hi friends, today we are going to talk about a scripting tool that is available in SAP as well as S4 HANA and I'll show what is there in S4 HANA and the same thing is there in ETC Suites also. So this is the transaction code that we are going to use, it's SCAT, S-E-C-A-T-T, okay. So let me go here and this is the transaction I'm going to use, S-E-C-A-T-T, okay. So here I press enter, okay. And the first thing we have to do is we are going to create some script okay so i'll just create a script like suppose two okay and here i'll click create and here i have to give a title so i'll say get update material master okay. so and i i found just this this I never knew this and I came to know about this tool. It's available and it's really nice. It's, it's something that is available for free and you can use it wherever you want. And it's pretty easy. Uh, so here, here what I did is I put the application component as cross, cross application. Okay. And now what I'm going to do is I'll click on uh, pattern. Okay. So the moment I click on pattern here, you need to be a little careful. You will put UI control. Okay, and here you will see a transaction recording. Okay, and here you will put MF02 and you will click this. And in the meantime, I will try to get some material master. So, in order to get some material master, what I will do, I will go to Mara table. Okay, and suppose I want to get some, some data out. Okay, so here you can see all these things. So, what I am going to do is I'll pick this number three. Okay, so let's pick number three. This is the material number. And what I'm going to do is probably I'm going to change the description and the old material number. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'll put Mit Mapner and I'll put here description. This is my description. And I'm going to do old material. DISMT or something like this. So here, that's it. So here, these are the fields that um, that is available, and we are going to play with some of this. So number three is the material number. I'm going to change now. I have got the material number. Okay. Now what I'm going to do, I'll put three here, and I'll press enter. Now select basic data. I click enter, and here you can see pulling this. This. So what I'm going to see. Say I'll just put D E F here, okay. And in the old material number, I'll just put A B C, okay. And I'll click save. So and then I'll select Do you want to apply data? And I click yes. So that's it. My stuff is done. Now the recording is done. Now I have to play around here. So here, if you you just need to double click on this, okay. And here all the fields will show. Now here I'll just go to intro and the first screen what I have done is I remember so I'll make this a little bit like this so that I can see stuff okay and here I will see I'll click on this and I'll click and you can see here I have entered the material number so in this point at this place you will just double click okay double click on it okay and here you double click on this portion and here you give a name so we'll see we'll copy it z okay. that's my name okay the moment i do this and then i have to click this i'll click back and i'll say i'll say as import okay and i'll click yes okay here so this comes here now the next portion what i did is I selected the next the, these values right so let me see what value I selected okay so I remember we selected X or something BISMT right so let me find that field and see this one I changed the description and so what I'm going to do the same thing I'll go here I'll double click on this and what I'm going to populate Z description these are the comments.
columns okay and same thing i'll do i'll click on this back okay and i'll click yes the moment i click yes now the next thing what i changed was this one abc so now this old number the same thing i'll go here double click and i'll change to z old okay and i click back okay same thing click yes and that's it this is this is the thing that i have already done now i click save okay and this i'll save it as local object okay i remember this is my test script okay now what i'm going to do is i'm going to hit the back button okay now once i hit the back button now what i'm going to do is i'll go to the test configuration where i'll create a test configuration that will run this script okay so what i'm going to do is i'll put another name so i'll probably put one two okay and i'll click on create so the moment i click create then here i'll put some update and i'll put real master okay and here the same thing i'll put ca okay now here i'll go into configuration and here i'll populate my test script so i know that my test script is this but i can do a search here and i'll populate the test script and here is my test script okay so the test script is ready okay and now i'll click this and now i'll hit this download variant so the moment i hit the download variant this will come as this name okay and here you just change it to text the moment you save it as text file this will come now i'll click on save and i'll click on resolve this it will say click yes now the file has been saved what i'm going to do is i will try to get the file so wh where will i go i'll go into sap GUI and i just saved it and this is the file okay so what i'm going to do is this is the file and now i will open this in excel so how can i open this in excel i'll probably go here and i'll click file and this is a little different because i'm in windows 10 and the excel is the, uh, the new version and here you cannot do open with uh, those things so here what you can say from text csv you click and then this will open so it's turning, turning, turning. And here you can see this is the one I will open. So the moment I will click on this, and here I will just click load. Okay, so here the data has come. Now here I will manipulate the data. Okay, so here what I'm going to do in the ECATS this place, what I'm going to do is I'll put the numbers. Okay, so material. So these are the material I'm going to change. So imagine I will change. So just change everything. Four forty six. You can see. And what I'm going to do is I change this to this and I'll populate this. Okay. So I have a bunch of things. So here I'll just put one. I'll put two. Does this go down like this? No. I'll put two. Then I'll put three. Then I'll put four. Five. Oops. Six, seven, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. probably I'm not good so much in Excel so actually with this new Excel you know I need to learn so 21 or 22 okay now what we are going to do is we are going to change this name so suppose this is I want to populate something you know we just populate the same name 
and we change some of this. So this one will change to my GR. Just for the heck, why, why, why? Just want to make sure you know they're not messing up the data. And this is the thing. And here, what we are going to do is we are going to copy the GF GTG uh, Okay, so these are the different names we have given. Control C, I'll just make this permutation combination so I don't have to type. The last one will put CPP. Okay, so here this is the thing I have done. Now, what I'm going to do is I'll copy this thing. I'll copy this, I'll do control C and here is the file that I have opened. So I'll open it here and here what I'm going to do is I'll click control A and I'll put control C. So this is the change I did. Now what I'm going to do is uh, I think this is good. Uh, you don't need to change anything. Uh, now. I'll just click on save. I'll just save it. Okay, and I closed it now. And now I am going to go into my file list. Okay, now here we have the variants already set up. Okay, so here what I'm going to do is I'll click the external path. Okay, and we'll see whether it really works or not. Okay, so just one, two. This is the one. That we just changed now let's see whether it works or not and here we are going to click on execute test configuration and we'll say do you want to save first yes why not we we'll click save and test configuration save successfully okay now we are going to execute so so we are going to variant okay and we are going to execute. Let's see. And it's still executing. That will see whether it worked or not. So here you can see it's executing. I hope it's not the circle of death. <laughs> uh, well, we'll see. So it's updating, it's updating 22, 22 materials, spinning, spinning, I think the number of times it's showing this, that means the number of times the material master is, it's, uh, it's updating so we had probably how many times uh, we had like 22 so let it spin for some of us for some time and you see everything is green that's good it's a, that's a very good sign okay so now what I'm going to say okay we'll see whether it really updated anything so we remember we did it from 111 to 446 I just want to go and just select those and and we will execute and you can see all these got changed okay for some reason some didn't get but if you see all these got changed so this was very useful this is very useful so you don't need a um, you don't need to write an lsmw means you can always write lsmw but you don't need to get a wind shuttle script or something or write or uh, bother your adapters write write something for you you can build it it's pretty easy it's less than probably 10 minutes it took and it's so easy and i learned it today and i'm pretty sure you can learn it faster so that's it so stay tuned to my sap channel and happy sap learning and have a great